South by Southwest, and I'm here with Eric from EarthCast, and uh, they just launched a new platform here, and Eric's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me give you a quick little overview of EarthCast. Basically, we're mounting two cameras to the International Space Station. Um, we're gonna take high-definition video of the Earth. We're gonna stream it to our web platform. Uh, we basically just wanted to show off some of the stuff we've been working on here at South by Southwest. So, yeah. cool. so how does this how does this technology affect things today? Well, I mean, naturally, what we're doing is pretty much worldwide. Um, the ISS circles the Earth 14, 15 times a day, uh, so we're going to be able to catch all kinds of stuff. We'll be able to film natural events, monitor deforestation, monitor weather patterns, just show people cool stuff in general, really. And so, like, an example of this would be like on Google Maps. So, like, when you're you get on like the, the satellite street level, whatever, mm -hmm. and it's the middle of summer, only your your view is of like the winter trees, yeah. and you're like, that doesn't look like my house. Yeah. That it's gonna it'll be uh, yeah, real time. Yeah, so, absolutely. well, one of our cameras is actually a still camera, so it's gonna take footage similar to what Google Earth or Google Maps will give you as far as the static imagery. But what's cool about it is that since we're on the ISS. We'll be able to image some places multiple times a week, multiple times a month, so we'll have really fresh imagery. So you won't have to look at year old data or data when it was winter, but it's actually summer and stuff like that, so. So how, how does one get on the space station? Do you get to go, put um, it up there? Absolutely, I'm an astronaut actually, can't you tell? Awesome. No. Um, I'm just a web guy, but uh, um, well, I mean, it, we have developed uh, some pretty good relationships with some uh, people in the Russian government. Uh, they own part of the International Space Station. They're willing to do some commercial projects on it. And uh, yeah, they, I mean, they're psyched about it, and we are too, so. <laughs> That's great. So tell us more about um, EarthCast and like how, how the company has evolved and, and where it's going. Well, it's been a huge evolutionary process. It pretty much changes weekly. Um, with, with space, space is huge overhead, and there's a pretty big barrier to entry most of the time. Um, we have some really good partnerships that make it uh, a little bit more reasonable for us to do it on a, a more reasonable budget. Um, so it gives us a little bit of an advantage over some of our competition. It makes us able to do stuff that no one else can really do. But uh, there's a lot of challenges, new challenges every week. I mean, with space, you know, sometimes rockets blow up, you know, sometimes equipment fails. So there's a lot of stuff that right. you have to account for. So, yeah, I mean, that's been some of the biggest challenges so far, but it's working so far, so. <laughs> and so what did you launch here? at South by Southwest? Well, we created a custom event page for South by Southwest. Basically, one of the big ideas around our platform is that we want to capture the Earth's events. We want to capture things like this, like South by Southwest, things like uh, hurricanes, you know, things like Burning Man, you know, the Olympics, all kinds of stuff. And we want to show the story of what's actually happening. So our platform, what we're demoing here, we've actually integrated with a lot of geo, geo layers, like stuff from Twitter, you'll see photos, you'll see videos, all circled around South by Southwest. Basically, we, we wanted to show off Sort of our vision for our event page. Cool. What's uh, the best thing about South by Southwest for you so far? Uh, the people, interacting with the people. Some awesome questions, some really good ideas, really good connections. I mean, people are naturally interested in this sort of thing. I mean, I was naturally drawn to it when I first started. So, yeah, I mean, really just the, the people and the good ideas that people are giving us. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you, Eric, yeah. and um, good luck. Yeah. Have a good show. Yeah, thanks for chatting with me. Of course. When Chessboro came up with the idea and labeled it open innovation, what he was really trying to do is to basically say the world is moving too fast, there's too much technological velocity that, that you just can't keep up and you need to be able to open yourselves up to outsiders to help you solve the major problems. How can the world afford not to innovate? As part of the global community, we must push the boundaries to be able to come up with these solutions. Innovation is not just having an idea. It's about turning that idea into reality. It's not just about the process. It's knowing how to mitigate risks along the way. It's really about developing a certainty about something, knowledge about something, so that you can reduce risks. And not just knowing where the path leads, but where the path ends. Our job as problem solvers is to reduce the risk and you do that by reducing uncertainty. Having a diverse set of experts in-house is critical. That's why we have microbiology, uh, analytical chemistry, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, physics. By having all these viewpoints, we are able to spot the things, the information, the needs, the gaps in that to be able to, um, to, be able to solve the problem. That's what we do here at PCD. We create, we test, we build, we refine, we deliver. 
Finding the answers is in our DNA. Seeking out the best, less risky, most certain solution is what we do. We make the impossible possible, and it works. PCD works.